Women FC TV with Adam Hinchwood following on from a quarter final playoff win over Braintree Town. How are you feeling after that, Adam? Yes, obviously, unbelievable achievement. Uh, I, thought, I, thought, I thought the players were superb, to be honest. Um, you know, I think scoring an early goal sometimes settles people down. I think, if anything, it made us more nervous. And uh, in particular, I thought the two centre midfielders were, you know, um, really hyped up for the game. And, you know, sometimes they're passing. I thought I remember Pax playing one back to Harrison and then, you know, absolutely fired it in. Led to a corner and that um, led to them scoring, I think, where we just didn't get out of a half. Um, so, yes, obviously, um, unreal result. Uh, I thought it was deserved. I thought we had some chances. I thought Ibi was, was a handful tonight. I thought David was a handful. Um, and it's it was a tough, tough selection um, to leave Dan Bowery out, who's been immense uh, in the last game. Um, he come on against Chestnut was really good, um, and put in an 18-year-old. Um, you know, it was a, was a real tough decision. Leave Mo Deborah out, who scored two in the last two games. Um, you know, so that the whole squad have been excellent and been together. I said they'd all be needed, um, and yeah, just delighted that the lads out there performed. But the whole the whole squad stuck together, and there's a real good good atmosphere and good team spirit and I think that's see us through in the end. You spoke about wanting to improve the performance following on from Saturday, do you feel the team did that tonight? Um, in certain, certain elements, um, in terms of, you know, Harrison's made an unbelievable save, Aaron's defended the box, put his head on loads of stuff, Joe Ryan made a really important tackle, um, so in certain elements I thought there was that hunger and desire that maybe was lacking a little bit on Saturday. Um, but we've just got to now mirror that up with, um, you know, our, our possession being better as well and a bit more calmness on the ball. Um, when we've done it, you know, we obviously Pax took a bit of a knock to his ankle, so we brought JB on. We wanted to sort of get an overload on the left side, which I thought worked at times. I thought we went into Liam and then to JB and got in down that side a, a couple of times. Um, but I thought he was, he was excellent again, like talking about the squad. Um, JB come on and ask the players like a holding midfielder that goes out in possession and comes in, you know, and you know, what a credit to, to the club to have a player like that that can do that. Alex Parsons as well coming on later on who's not been involved for quite a while and two players who, you know, maybe come in roles that they wouldn't normally do and stepping up for the team. No, exactly, yeah, and Miki <laughs> is that covered. You know, um, I was going to say every blade of grass, but every blade of 3G out there today, he's, he's covered it and he, his work rate, um, you know, was first class. And that's all you can ask. I think if you leave everything out there and it's not quite your day or they get an equaliser and it goes to extra time, or whatever, then you hold your hands up there, good side. Um, you know, um, you know, I was a bit probably out of order when we won here, um, but I felt we was disrespected when we went to their place and, you know, let them know that. Um, but, you know, it, it played on my mind that, um, you know, that's not how we conduct ourselves. And, you know, I was, I was apologetic to them and, you know, I've got nothing but admiration for what they do. They're, they're a tough side, they're a good side. It's got some really good players. Um, and I'm really all trying to get the, get the win. Um, and yeah, so wish them nothing but success moving forward. And um, yeah, like I say, just delighted for the group and the bunch of players that we got um, to get the result we did. Tough battle out there today, and you spoke about the nerves that came after the first goal. How did you feel once that second one went in? Uh, was that like a feeling of relief for you? Um, yeah, it was a weird sort of goal. I don't know whether the keeper got underneath it or it got. Um, in the lights or something, I don't know, we were talking about the lights earlier as well before the game and um, whether he's just hasn't got the flight and is it a weird kind of goal but I thought you know while he's at the post and you know just waiting for that third one just to settle everybody down because I don't think I didn't feel they was gonna they might snatch one um, but I don't think they was gonna get two I thought when he went to, if we could have got the third would have um, you know put a seal on it to be honest and we could have you know relaxed a little bit but yeah it's it's the longest six minutes um, uh, I've ever you know endured in, in football before um, you know so full credit to players like I so they dug in and I thought they, they showed a bit of uh, maturity to see the game out um, so yeah just 
delighted that we, we come through and, and got the win. Just touch on one thing, as a manager, I'm not sure you've ever managed a playoff game before in your career. You've been in play once as a player, but not as a, as a manager. How was this experience for you tonight? Um, I loved it, to be fair. Um, yeah, it's, it's, there's not too many times during the course of the season where you actually want to be playing and be out there playing. And I felt that today. I felt, you know, there's a massive crowd here, you know, really spurring you on, getting behind you. And, you know, there's lots on the game. And they're the type of games that you want to be playing in. You know, I said to the lads before the game, you know, like, imagine, you know, we, we're set at home now with our slippers on and, you know, nothing to play for. Um, you know, these are the games you've got to relish and really enjoy. And um, I think, you know, some of us took that, you know, completely the other way and was too fired up. Um, and we just got to enjoy it and relax into what we do. But there was a lot of good stuff out there, a lot of good performances and, you know, probably biased, but I thought we deserved the win in the end. How did you feel going to Sunday at uh, Oxford? No, yeah, just obviously dust ourselves down. Um, you know, um, we, we got to prepare properly. It's it's easily, I say, obviously, Epsley has been the toughest test. Um, there's no question about that. They've been excellent all season, but other than that, I'll probably say Oxford was the next best test, especially at their place. They they play that box formation. Um, they work it really well. They've got good rotation in their side, and um, yeah, they cause us some problems on the day. Um, I think we was out without Aaron, without Pax, a few players we was missing on the day, but we'll go to a different team. Um, but, you know, it's going to be a real, real tough game. You know, they've, they've finished third, um, so they're absolutely no marks and we've got a bit our best to absolutely do, get anything from it. And just to even make it a game, we've got to perform at um, levels that probably we haven't performed at before. Um, but, you know, one thing is, there's they're a good group, and I think, like I said to you before, like the team spirit that we've we've shown and togetherness throughout the group has seen us through. And if we can go there and be calm enough to play our way, but you know, also on the flip of it, play with the spirit that we played with today. Um, you know, I think it'll be a real, real good game. But turning on tonight and celebrating tonight, what crowds of over 2.6 thousand did tonight at Woodside? Yeah. What a night it's been. No, yeah, on a Tuesday night and, you know, it's, it's, it's I, I, I think it's, it's what this town can generate. Um, you know, I think we want to get to a place where this is the norm at, at the club. Um, you know, this, this kind of attendances and, you know, people messaging left, right and centre, trying to get tickets and, you know, it's we obviously got to share the gate, so you can't give any tickets out. And my wife and kids have had to go online and, and book tickets like everybody else has to. And I quite enjoyed that, to be honest. And it's been one sort of um, you know thing off my mind um, to sort out any tickets and getting people in. And it's just a case of you know you've got to, you've got to purchase them and, and come in. And, and you know I, I want to get to a stage where this is the norm for the for the town. Um, you know these kind of attendances, and you know it's 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 hard. It's hard work to get in, and it's harder to get a ticket here than it is probably for the Amex tomorrow, Brighton Man United. Um, so, yeah, that's that's what we want to try and generate. And I think the size of the town, um, you know, it is doable, and we're just scratching the surface of the kind of attendances that this club can generate. Congratulations, thank you. Last one. Cheers.